Hey, what's up? This is Flam Sama. I'm back with another commentary video. This time I wanted to talk about the new Husky Raid playlist and the change it made from being classic Fiesta CTF to Super Fiesta CTF and what that means for the game. My biggest problem with Fiesta CTF over... or Super Fiesta CTF over Classic Fiesta CTF is that it doesn't do middle ground at all. You either spawn with a really super powerful weapon that can delete people like the Nornfang or the Answer or a weapon like that, are you spawn with a weapon set that would be kind of good for a normal 4v4 Slayer thing, like your standard, you know, your ranked Slayer or things like that, but it doesn't really work for any kind of Super Fiesta CTF game type where you're going to be playing against people who have these incredible weapons and you can't really kill them with those. In general, you'd have to figure that a game type like CTF, even normal CTF, like you're playing ranked, you figure that the team that scores first probably wins like 60 to 70 percent. I'm just pulling that number out of my ass. I don't really have the stats in front of me, but you figure the team that scores first usually ends up winning. That's got to be exacerbated even even worse by Super VS to CTF. Because once you get that flag pull, you know, you have someone with Answer and Nornfang on your team, you get a pull and then you just hold them down while you pull their flag. Once you get that cap, you can just play tank defense the rest of the game, and they can't really do anything about it, because in order for them to actually go into your shit and get a pull on your flag, they'd have to spawn with something that's comparable. They'd have to spawn with the Answer or Nornfang or Prophet Spain or something like that. So you could spawn with a pretty decent weapon like Blood of Suban, or you could spawn with a Saw or the Scala Soy Wrap Brute Plasma Rifle, which would probably dominate if everyone had assault rifles. But when you spawn in and someone on the other team has Snipe and the other person has Oath Sworn, and you're just not going to be able to combat with that. So you spawn with a decent weapon set that would work on another game type that would be a little more not Fiesta. You're just like, okay, I'll just run out and die because what are the odds of me being able to find a good weapon on laying on the ground? You're tripping over carbines and SMGs and BRs and, ooh, this one has a morph sight on it and... You're tripping over all these weapons, and you don't really have anything that can make you make a pull and tie the game up. So it leads to these snowballing type games where, once they get a cap on you, people are prone to quitting. I don't necessarily quit games, but people will be prone to quitting, they'll be prone to just throwing, not trying, AFKing, and the other team just gets the spawn trap, or they could play tank defense and not really go for pulls, and they're just still picking you off as you go to their base. Worst case scenario is they just decide to spawn trap you the rest of the game. They don't go for flagpoles anymore. But they just make it a really, really hard time for you. And it's just, it's fun for a certain amount of time. Once you get into a couple games like that where you just get spawn trapped and it's a one nothing loss, you eventually start to lose your enthusiasm for playing it anymore, at least I did. You look at Action Sack, that was probably my favorite game type, was Classic Fiesta CTF Old School Husky Raid. Because it was the right mix of crazy, wacky bullshit, along with a little bit of sweatiness if you happen to spawn with Snipe, where you could just lay down and go, oh yeah, I'm gonna get in fucking headshots, bro. But when you've got multiple people spawning with really kick-ass good weapons, it just kind of sucks the fun out of it, because like I said, again, you have all these people spawning with really good shit, you either spawn with a really good weapon, or you spawn with something that's just kind of worthless and you're just running around hoping that you can get killed and then spawn with something better next time. And that's not really the way you should be playing it, but it's the dominant strategy for that because what else are you going to do about it? And this isn't really aided by some of the maps because some of the maps are seemingly designed to encourage spawn trapping. Now, spawn trapping in Husky Raid is kind of like spawn trapping in Griff Ball. It's part of the game type for sure. You can't really have one without the other. But... It's not as bad on if you look at the original map. Like, you have some spawns on the left side, some spawns on the right side. It's hard to just sit there and just control all the spawns at the same time. There's at least two maps, named Downpour and Palmyra, where it seems pretty easy to just control all four spawns at the same time. Palmyra, in particular, you could just look across from your spawn at the enemy spawn, and you spawn kind of on a weird, like, slope... And you're almost already out in the open. It's like a tiny little wall of cover, and then that's it. You're up. You're also down a little bit, so you peek your head out and you just get sniped off. And it also is exaggerated by the fact that your flag is way above your spawn, up in the air. So if someone, you know, if someone's coming to your base, you get killed, and you're on the re. Someone gets a flag pull as you're respawning. 
you respawn below them, presumably with a mediocre weapon, you go to shoot them and chase them out, and you just get sniped by someone coming from their base. Or, uh, not even coming from their base, just in their base, because they can see into your base. It's ridiculous. And Downpour has the stupid walls in it where you could kind of shoot between the cracks in them, but the sniping isn't even the worst part of that. It's the fact that, at least once, I got my entire team deleted by a single incinerator shot. Not... Like, okay, well, he fired a couple shots here, a couple shots here. No, one single charge shot right in the middle of all of our spawns. He got a quad with one shot right off of our spawn. Like, I understand that it's, you know, Husky Raid and spawn camping. Okay. They were literally on top of each other, though. How are you supposed to get out of that scenario if someone has rocks or incinerator or something and they're just standing there looking at your spawn? Unless you spawn with an equal, equally good weapon and can get the drop on them somehow, despite the fact that they're looking at you as you spawn in. How are you supposed to break out of that, really? And then you go to turn, and then you get sniped by someone who's looking from their base. There's two other maps that I think it's the only two of this style, I could be wrong, called Hallows and Solstice Vista, where right from the side of your spawn, you can go off to the side, and there's this little sniper ledge, and you go on that sniper ledge, and you can just look across into the other team's base. The problem with that is if you spawn with Halo 2 Beam Rifle Delta or Nornfang and you go onto that sniper ledge, you can lock down two-thirds of the map. You just lock down the front line, you know, where you would go from the your spawn into your hallway. If someone's looking at you with one of those sniper rifles, what are you supposed to do about it? You have to hope that you can strafe their shots long enough to get into the middle, where presumably their teammates are going to be trying to push, make it towards your base for a flagpole. Or you hope that you spawn with an equally good weapon, or at least a sniper, something that could actually get a one-shot kill in the head. And hope that you can run around really quickly and get a beat on this dude before he gets a single body shot on you and kills you. It's ridiculous, and it encourages people to just spawn trap, which is not really the spirit of the game type, I don't think. Like, spawn trapping is supposed to be an extra thing you do as a strategy, not just, hey, there's literally a ledge off to the side where if I get a sniper, I'm going to go there and try to get some easy headshots out of it. It seems to go against the whole spirit of the thing. Now what they could do, I, I mean, there's 25, 27, I'm not exactly sure the exact number, there's 20 different maps plus in that, and I really only have problems with a handful of them, so I don't think it's mainly the map's problem. The problem is the weapons. Again, I'll keep saying it, there's no middle ground. So if you don't spawn with something good, you might as well just, I mean, not kill yourself, because you'll get booted for that. I had that happen to me once. Not deliberately killing myself but falling out of the map uh got booted you just basically throw yourself at the other team because it's like hey i'll try to make a flagpole and that way i can still kind of be useful despite the fact i have a storm rifle and a plasma rifle if they had it like the holiday fiesta playlist they had a few months ago obviously during the holiday season that would be a decent improvement because they take the super fiesta weapon loadouts and they diversify them where, okay, here's just snipers, and you can spawn with all of those, and, you know, the best weapon is Nornfang. Or just the explosive weapons, or the one I've been rooting for for a long time, even before Super Fiesta was, uh, Super Fiesta Husky Raid was a thing. I want Precision Weapon Husky Raid, or not Precision Weapon, Loadout Weapon Husky Raid, I'm sorry. Where you have the SMG, the BR, the Assault Rifle. The number one weapons in that would be the Dying Star Light Rifle. The Blood of Suvon uh, Car bleh, Covenant Carbine, the Halo 1 Pistol, and the Halo 2 Battle Rifle. If those are your best weapons, you still play really skillfully and you still are really overpowered if you have one of those. But it's not as overpowered as if you have Nornfang and the other team has the pistol. Like, you could still juke my shot or whatever if I have Blood of Suban and you can kill me. And it's just more even that way. And each of those games I described. The weapon sets are smaller, so you have a higher likelihood of spawning with something that's good. So it's not as crazy and like, oh, well, incredibly one-sided. I'm just going to get this weapon and then trap the other team in their spawn because I spawned with something that was really good. They could also spawn with something really good and just delete you if they wanted to. So if you had those kind of playlists from the Holiday Super Fiesta playlist as Husky Raid game types, I think it would really work better and it'd make the games a lot more higher scoring, I'd say. Higher scoring and higher like 3-2 type games or 2-1 type games not just it's 3 to nothing because they just spawn trapped or it's 1 to 1 because we were just you know locked in our bases the whole time well anyway that was 10 minutes of me rambling about Super Fiesta uh, 
If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, leave a comment. Um, otherwise, hey, thanks for watching, man.